hello again everybody okay so we already talked about the five c's cover container cordage combustion and cutting so now let's get into the remainder of the 10 c's the last five c's cotton compass candling device cargo tape canvas needle so let's go over those and maybe some redundancy. Some of the uses, uh, you can use 100% cotton to make char cloth. You can use the cotton bandanas or shamogs to filter water. You can use them for hygiene. You can use them for dressing wounds, making a tourniquet or a sling. Uh, you can use them to secure a splint. You can use them to secure a hostile person if a situation like that arises. So there are a lot of a lot of uses for cotton compasses here we have a lensatic compass and an orienteering or base plate compass <clears throat> base plate compass is a compass and protractor in one for using a map the lensatic compass if you're going to use with a map you need a protractor so the purpose of a compass is to keep you moving in a straight line and avoid lateral drift um, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole, I just want to explain the simplicity part of the compasses and why it's part of the 10 C's is just directional so you don't get lost. You shoot a bearing and you can move towards an object using that bearing moving there in a straight line and then you would shoot a reverse azimuth which is 180 degrees difference to make it back to the same point there's you know a couple different types of compasses and <clears throat> a couple things to look for on them is you want the liquid filled and like if you look on here there's a set screw that set screw is so that you can adjust an offset on the bezel ring for declination which Declination will be on your map legend. <clears throat> Another thing to look for is on a night nav ring. Those are usually going to be tritium or phosphorescent. Uh, phosphorescent ones are usually a little bit cheaper. They do have to periodically be recharged throughout the night if you're doing night nav. Uh, the tritium ones don't need to be recharged. And not as part of the 10 C's, but just as an aid to yourself for navigation, you should learn how to make and use pacing beads. I will do a video on how to make those and how to use them once I get out to the field. Candling device. All right, we have, this is Ozark Trail. I got it at Walmart. I think it was like around 15 bucks. It has beam, flood, and if you hold the flood button down, you get red. I've had this, I, I use this thing at night when I'm loading up the semi. Um, but this band has not stretched out yet. I've been pretty impressed because I've not had to readjust it once takes two AAA batteries uh, and man it makes it hands free it's so nice to have hands free so you know headlamp um, here's, a, here's a flashlight this is just a little 14 bulb LED uh, I think I got it for like eight bucks this takes two AAA's this takes three now these two these are both rechargeable yeah this one has got a high beam and a low beam and this clips onto your hat and I do not say that in a joking way this thing clips on and you actually have to pull it off you'll never have to worry about this falling off it has no name on it my son gave it to me and he said he thinks he bought it on Amazon and he doesn't know how much it was really good light though I've put this on I put this on my hat if I'm, you know, if I have a hat on, I use this. If I don't, I'm using that. But, um, this is an awesome light. Rechargeable. 
This is rechargeable. This has a high beam, a low beam, and a strobe. And your charge port, can't get that open. Your charge port is right here on the side. But you hit that button for the light, you actually have another source of combustion. Well, I guess I have to charge this. I have I have a lot of flashlights, headlamps, hat lights, floodlights, spotlights, so I won't bore you with it. Um, redundancies, you know. These are the four that are always with me. They're with me in the truck. They're with me in the woods. Um, and actually, as funny as it may sound, this one and this one are always with me at home too because I have to go outside and scoop dog poop in the dark candling device cargo tape this is a one inch roll of gorilla brand cargo tape um, you can take a few inches of this roll it up light it on fire put your tinder over it if you have any um, moisture left in the tinder and you're having a hard time getting it to take a spark or anything then just set it over this because it'll burn for a few minutes that'll dry out the tinder and start it up so you can use this as lashing if you're out of cordage you can use this to patch holes in tarps tents sleeping bags clothes your gear bags you can use it to make an improvised container if you have to uh, you can use it to close up pouches or bags that have a broken zipper and you don't have a way to fix the zipper the cargo tape has a lot of uses you also can if you have an orange emergency tarp put three big x's on it and that symbolizes that you are trying to get rescued last but not least canvas needle um, you have to have a way to take care of your your clothing, your bags, your boots, gloves, hat, everything. And that stuff, no matter how you look at it, is all your gear. So if you have a big tear in your pants, you have more of a chance of having your leg get cut and possibly infected, getting bug bites. Uh, so it's important to be able to take care of your clothing and gear so I don't necessarily have redundancies of the canvas needle but I do carry a sewing kit this is from one bag this is from another they basically contain the same thing um, this was this was marine issue it has a mirror in it you can use to you know check out parts of your body that you can't see use it as a signaling device there's lots of thread buttons I keep safety pins in there um, I keep uh, I got those little the little uh, needle threaders because if I don't have my glasses on I can't see anything unless it's more than three feet away so I keep those in there this one has a pair of scissors uh, there's another cutting device uh, tweezers needles smaller needles and this one I've got a lighter with some cargo tape on it some safety pins thread a whole bunch of buttons um, this is a couple of bones I found in the woods and I literally used to have just this and this that was it just like that and I those were inside of a little Altoids tin with one of those tiny little pair of um, sewing scissors the ones that fold up those were in here and these and there was a lighter in there and a couple safety pins um, might have been a couple buttons and stuff too but um, so canvas needle
collect your 10 C's, collect your 5 C's, go practice with them. You'll have fun doing it. Learn and practice navigation, it's actually really fun. So until the next video, get off the couch, get off the phone, and enjoy the outdoors.